Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to move resources between resource groups in Azure. Let me just update the, the introduction slide as well. Give me one minute, I'll be back. It looks much better now. Azure resource groups. Right, I can uh, make this R capital of resource and the G capital of this groups. Let me do that. I'm really sorry for it. See now it looks much better than before. So. Let me welcome you again. Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to move resources between Azure resource groups. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I'm logged on to the portal and this is the resource group and the disk that we created. So I'm going to go back to my home in the portal. I'm going to click on resource groups and this is the resource group that I created. I'm going to go back to it. And you see one resource that I created, it's the disk uh, that we created in the previous video. And now in the overview tab of my resource group in the list of resources, you see uh, the disk. And now if you will just select it, you get an option, move, right? Move to another resource group, move to another subscription move to another location so i'm going to select move to another resource group and this moving you can uh, move multiple resources at the same time if you have multiple resources in the resource group right so it says move to the resource group i select create a new group here i'm going to type in the name here i'm going to do az10 for lab two so this is the two and you check that box which says i understand that tools and scripts associated with move resources will not work until i update to the new resource id you check this box and then you click on ok it's validating and it is moving the resources from the AZ104 lab to AZ104 lab 2. You can select an existing group here as well. If you have already created a resource group or you can create the new resource group that like I created here. Then you check this box, then you click on validating. It will validate the uh, prerequisite or the eligibility criteria from the backend and will let you know that if you can move this to the new resource group or not and uh, just a note here that you do not have to wait for the move to the complete but instead proceed uh, to the next task so because the move operation might take about 10 minutes uh, we can determine that the operation was completed by uh, monitoring the activity log entries of the source or target resource group we can revisit the screen once the task is completed, right? So let's just wait. Let me just pause the video and I will come back as soon as it is done. Okay, it was done around in 10 minutes. We are back and you see that disk is no longer present in this resource group. Now, if I go to my resource group again and if I check my second resource group, let me just refresh it. And you see AZ104 lab 2 resource group. You click on it. And if you would click on this disk that we migrated. And now you see that this disk is present in my AZ104 lab 2 as well. The disk is unattached. It's still in the East US location. And... Uh, if you want, you can just to go into the overview section of this and you can move it again. You select it. And now if you want to move it to another location, you can do it from the portal as well. And now if you want to implement locks on it, you want to do more operations on it, you can go in the locks section under settings of that disk. And you can add a log. You can add a log with the delete name type would be delete. Note this log prevents deletion. 
click on OK. You can edit the log. And now, if you would go on to overview, and if you would uh, try to delete it, I think it would not be deleted. See, failed to delete this law, uh, this disk. The scope cannot perform delete operation because following scopes are locked. I have locked it. You go to lock again. You delete the lock. Right now, there is no lock. You refresh it. You go back to your disk. You click on delete. And you'll be able to delete it. It's deleting because if it would have not been deleted, sex, deleting successfully, you would have got that message saying successfully deleted the disk. That is how you do different operations. You can do it if you have moved it to another resource group as well. So I hope this was informative for all of you guys. If you have any more queries, please mention them in the comment section. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a great day.